Hey y'all. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine Young and I'm a creative and... Hi, I'm Barbie and I am from Punk, Funk and Junk. <laughs> So, hey, everybody, let us know if you can hear us okay, all right? Um, there is a bit of a lag, so just uh, uh, let us know if you can hear us. Hey, Dolores. Hello. Thank you for coming by. Uh, just so everybody knows, um, we also have other screens so that we can see things. Um, yeah, so we, we just, we need to be watching things, too. Um, just as my previous sales, Jess, who's in the chat, um, as Jessica Dowell, she is going to be running the chat. Okay. So if you have questions that me and Barbie are not seeing, which is probably going to happen because you know, we're selling and doing things just at Jess. Okay. Um, she, she'll help out and if you know we aren't getting to something she'll also yell like question you know so she'll she'll let us know <laughs> Jess is ready she's awesome yeah so she's 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 our ride or die so she is um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness hello Deb hi so what is well what did you do this morning Oh, I went to a garage sale that was slash an estate sale. Mm -hmm. um, so that was good. Um, and yeah, I actually filmed a haul for it. So you guys will see it soon. See, I want to see it now. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, we're going to shake the table if we put our arms on it. Just say no. Um, <laughs> yeah, room. yeah. but it like, they like, bleh. good point. <laughs> Get your drama mean ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to shake things up a bit. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, but yeah, we um I think we're gonna start here really soon. Um, so what's really cool today is we are in the same location, which is amazing, right? Like so many sales that have multiple resellers, they aren't even in the same state. I, Dolores, you know, not even in the same country. <laughs> so what's super exciting is you can buy from both of us and it's one shipping. Okay. So we will package your stuff all together and you can support both of us mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about dual shipping. You also don't have to worry about contacting both of us. Um, right below me, is my contact form on my website okay um if if anyone's having problems you can um at jess okay and just ask her this form just sends me the email if you look in the description of this video it says like all the things we need like your youtube name your real name and your full address and that's how we can invoice you because we're going to pack up your items and we're going to make sure you get the best shipping price possible before we invoice you say that three times fast right mm -hmm. um so we'll need all that info and that really is in the description of this video too um one thing you should be aware of the form on my website if you just send me one email and then you want to send me another you're going to have to wait a bit um my website thinks you're spamming me if you send me multiple emails. I've had people saying, I'm trying again and again and again. And it's like, well, the website's locking you out forever now because it's, you know, it's it's just a protection thing and there's really nothing, like it's not on my end, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> oh, hi, hi, my dear, it's good to see you. <laughs> oh, hi, Leah, thanks for joining me. Yeah. Yeah, she she's the one that was like, it's okay if you have all these dog items. I'm a dog person. Oh, no, awesome. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> so today is just all kitsch. All day long. All kitsch. And we do have um we do have offer ups and we do have flat prices. Um and then I also heard from people that they wanted a mystery box. So I do have a mystery box as well. Mm-hmm. Mm um, so, okay, we are going to get started in about one more minute. Yeah. Uh, book, thank you for stopping in today. Oh, hi, my dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Like, it, 
the whole like watch the chat watch what you're doing sell it like it is such a talent you guys to be able to see all the things like I am just in awe with all the resellers that are like on the chat while doing the thing. I'm like, oh my God, you guys. I <laughs> well, for that, I want to give a plug to our friends who are so helpful. Like for instance, Dolores being in the chat and, you know, saying hi to folks that are coming in or Katie from Vintage of Minel, who is so awesome in the chats uh, during sales because it's people like Dolores and Katie who are so helpful and help to keep, you know, our friends that are in the chat, you know, engaged and just keep, kind of keeping track of those things. So. My hat's off to you guys, so thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, but yeah, I can't run this without Jess, so she is, so shout out to Jess for- Shout out to Jess too, for absolutely. Put, for putting it all in and everything. Yes, so. thank you, Jess. Okay, well, you are my guest. <laughs> and so, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but Jess was just yelling in the other room. So you are my guest. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let you sell the very first item. Oh my gosh. So if you don't know, you might know, but this is my very first live sale. So I want to thank you for again Yay. inviting me to be on your channel to do this. You are amazing. So thank you. She's an old pro. Y'all have seen her in the chat. Like she handles people's sales. It's fine. <laughs> Still, I appreciate the opportunity, so thank you. So I brought along a bunch of kitschy things that I think are really, really fun. So let you know if you if you like them, great. Otherwise, just welcome to the to chat with us and just hang out with us and have fun. So I'm here to have fun, but let's see. So my first item um, is Granny in a rocker. So it's Granny in in a rocker, and it's a salt and pepper shaker set. So you know she's just kind of hanging out. See her? She's just doing her thing. That is Vikings colors, y'all. Vikings sports colors. <laughs> is is that football? Yes. Oh, football. Okay, great. <laughs> but it's Granny, and so it is marked. Um, let's see. Let's see. And it is um, a quality Ginkgo product, so it's GNCO. Thank you. And both stoppers are there the paint is beautiful there are no chips and no cracks but it's just you know granny's just sitting there you can't see down here can you nope come over here no no nope. you have to hold it you have to hold it <laughs> granny she's living her best life so granny this is number 17 if you're interested in granny and she's six dollars the salt and pepper shaker so she's two pieces. She sits nice in her chair. She's six dollars. My very first item, number seventeen. She's six dollars. Granny in her rocking chair. Rocking in my rocking chair. <laughs> the only thing all she needs is either her Melba toast and her soda crackers or her little kitty. Yeah, I'm with. Oh my gosh, put a kitty on there. I'm yeah. here for it. <laughs> Maybe a kitty decal. Like, you know how Sarah oh, yeah, gets yeah, yeah. little decals and things? We need a little decal. Yeah, so all right. I will put this over here. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. My very first item. All right. Okay. okay. Now, my first item. Um, it, you probably know that I collect vintage purses. So I am a sucker for vintage purses. And also, I collect scratch and dent items. I give things a home that, like, just have little issues because they're adorable and why not? So this is an adorable mushroom Caro Nan basket purse. Mm. Okay. Look at the inside. Adorable ditzy floral. This is a scratch and dent item. Okay. On the top. We have condition issues right here. This is not something that's gonna come off. This is in the decal. Give you a good look at that. But look how cute it is anyways. Like this setting in a display would just be amazing. Like it is adorable anyways. The purse has, of course, the cute little mushroom there. But then it does have some condition issues. Let's see, right here. And the inside is not super clean. The person wrote on here, let's see right here. What did they write again? Um, tweeds and teas. So I think they stored like teas and such in here. 
it smells good. It does not smell bad, but they definitely use this for storage. So this little guy is going to be at a scratch and dent price, <laughs> and it is number two, eight dollars. Dolores thinks it's fabulous. Number two, eight dollars, and that is for the Caro Nan mushroom basket purse. I no, I think this is so fabulous too. I I love this guy. But he he definitely has some wear and he needs some love. So mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Next item. Next item is excuse my reach. So I see this and I think kitsch all the way. And it's very light. It's plastic. Oh my gosh. You want me to hold it? That'd be great. All right. <laughs> I'm very shaky. So look at the salt and pepper shake shaker set. There are two kitties. This is a heart, y'all. And that's a heart on the handle. So it sits in this little container or yep. tray rather. Um, one of them has a stopper and one of them does not. And I just think they're fabulous. Now, how big is this? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. About five inches. About five inches. And it's really, really light. And I just think they're great for display. So that would look good in a red or black kitchen. It would look great for Halloween. It would look great for Halloween, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so super cute. And look at, see how it says salt and pepper here? So we're going to start these at $10. So now this is an offer up, okay? Yes. So the starting bid on this is 10. Um, Jess, if you can put the copy and paste from our spreadsheet, the start on that. And yeah, let's take them off and show each one. Kitty, kitties, kitties, kitties. <laughs> um, the back has they have the same holes on the back. It's the same, it's the same thing. But because they say salt and pepper, you know which it is. And Deb, we see you at 10. And then here's the little case. What I think is so great about this really is the case. I mean, like this is the hard piece to find. I don't generally, it doesn't generally come with it. Yeah, yeah, this is the hard piece to find. So I would say this is the, the showstopper right here. And just the fact that this has survived without yeah. breaking out. It's it's really light plastic. It is, it yeah. is a super light mm -hmm. plastic. Yeah. And I see Deb at 10 and I'm not seeing anyone else. Do you want to do a countdown? Yeah, I'm going to do a countdown on this three piece sets of kitschy kitties salt and pepper i didn't even have a coffee this morning <laughs> um here we go we're gonna start the countdown at 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 meow <laughs> bid end bid end <laughs> and then jess can you put the bid in in Thanks everyone for your bits. Yeah, thank you. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you for your help for holding those. Yeah, I was like, I got. Clearly, I'm. That's fine. Shake it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Thank you, Deb. You're going to your new home at Deb's house. Excellent. Can you grab the cutie? Of course. This little gal. Mm hmm. All right. Who loves babies? Are there any baby lovers in here? Baby. I love babies. So um, I have the quintessential Cupid baby. This is an amazing one, okay? But when you think of Cupid babies, this is the one, okay? It has the made in Taiwan stamped on her back. So this would be like the late 70s, 80s Cupid baby. Her hands are the weird flippers, like they all are. <laughs> Lord knows why they're like that. Straight jazz hands. 
she was doing jazz hands. But I think what's so great about this one is the little outfit. Like the little outfit just makes her. Um, she's got bloomers. So we ain't flashing anyone with the little cutie butt that we all love. But yeah, she is just a sweetie. And this one is going to be a flat price for the baby. And you can take the baby home with you for $8 by giving me number six. $8 by giving me number six. And a cupid baby is your baby. What I like is the yellow. It's, you know, it's very. This, this is a good one. You know, this is a really good one. Neutral. This is actually from my personal collection. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I just was really gravitated towards how nice the, the outfit was. Mm -hmm. Like, I was just like, somebody did a really good job making that. Oh, and she does have her little cutie oh, hair. Oh, my word. Look at the swirl there. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, she is just a little sweetie. Mm -hmm. I love that. Do you want to go again? Sure. Okay. Sure. I'm going to go again. Okay. I'm going to grab. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh. oh, Leah says she had one when she was little. Aww. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, y'all, I'm bringing in some heavy hitters, oh. okay? So these are some big guns. Okay, <sighs> you guys. Who loves pixies? Oh my goodness sakes. We all love pixies, right? Mm -hmm. So we got... Creepy pixels. Ah, oh my gosh. Y'all, these are going to be offer up. They are starting at 12 bucks. <laughs> and these, these little guys, they kind of look like they might eat your soul. This one is laying like this. These have a little bit of wear. This one has a little little wear on his collar yeah yeah he's creepy. here let's see oh you can see that yep on his collar there's a little wear there it's a chip and then this one too has a little wear on his collar right there there's a really small chip right there but other than that like their limbs have never been broken um they are um and what are they contemplating Desu Japan. Let me show you the marks on that. <laughs> Just wrote evil little pixies. Or That's that, what they are. Is that what you call them? Yep. I love it. They're Desu Japan. Man, those are awesome. What are those starting at? 12. That's a great deal. They are a great deal. I have seen these go for over 60 bucks oh on gosh. certain channels. So That's great for Halloween. Oh my god, yes. These are great for Halloween. They're great for the spring and for Christmas. You can leave them out for all that. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, it's hard to find pixies together. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you tend to just like find one. You don't usually find like the pair of pixies. So let's see. Do we have any takers? I don't think we have any takers on these. So I am going to... We are going to move on to the next item because I don't see any bits on these. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So this next item is also going to be an offer up. And it's the mouse. Jess, it's the mouse coming out of a melon. So what this is, is a bank. I showed this in our live preview. It's Japan 1967 and it glows with a black light. And look at the ears. Look at this guy. So this one's gonna start at $12. And he is all in one piece and just these retro colors. And then here's the stop or rather the plug. Yep, and you can see the date right on the bottom, you know? It's 67, right? Is that what it is? I think so. But yeah, you can see the date right on the bottom. 67. So that's gonna start at 12. And like I said, uh, I've used my black light on it and it does glow. Well, I should say glow. Oh, it is. It's, it's, it glow. It's yeah. got the paint in it. That. Yeah, it's yeah. black, white, responsive paint. Yeah. Yep. So it's creepy. 
and kitschy all at the same time. I love him. I love Big Eared Mice. Um, I was actually like thinking about texting someone and being like, could you be a proxy and bid on the mouse for me? Because I kind of love him. Because, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is one of the items in your sale that I, I like kind of wanted. So. Aww. But, yeah, he's super cute. Um, I Yeah, I collect the, the holiday fair banks like this. So, yeah, yeah. And he's super cute. Well, I saw you had it in your kitty collection. Yeah. Isn't one. there one over there? I have one in there, yeah. Yeah, too. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any interest in this little guy, so maybe I'll end up leaving him here with you. Maybe. Thanks for getting my back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We will move on. Mouse in a melon. <laughs> okay. What do you got for us next? Uh, can you grab me the dream pet? Yes. All right, dream pet alert. Dream pet alert. In case anyone needs to go poke someone, yell at someone, tell them to be on the sale. We have a dream pet. How could that be? So, dream pet alert. <laughs> and I don't think this is a dream pet anyone's seen before. So it is this sweet little doggy. I would say maybe like a dachshund or something. And she's on her surfboard <laughs> and she has a lay and look at her eyelashes and her flower. And let's see, she is going to start at $10. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> nope, Jess, that is perfectly fine. Thank you. Um, now she does have her tag. She has her dream pet tag. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, this might be hard to show on camera. Um, her tag is right there. I'm sorry, guys. But with the surfboard, it's hard to see it. But it is there. Yeah, and she is a little sweetie. I just want to epoxy it to the dashboard of my car, which I know you probably shouldn't do that because it might take away from... That's what I would do to it. But I, I think totally put that on the dashboard of my car. I like this in the car. I think that's a cool, cool thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is an authentic dream pet. I've literally never seen one like attached to something. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why I was really drawn to her. Um, technically, she is my personal collection. So if she doesn't sell, she is going right back in my personal collection. It's like we've got Deb Sherman at 10. Oh, Deb, nope, Deb's taking her, Deb's taking her. I, honestly, Deb, I love this. Like, I, I think this is so amazing. Um, I just collect cats and mice, and I need to, like, stop with the different animals. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, this, I mean, and if you're a reseller, you know that you could flip this very easily for much more than that. Mm -hmm. Dream pets are very popular. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she's just so cute. I mean, gosh, you guys, look at her eyelashes. Yeah, yes. she's so demure. And like the lay is like a sturdy, but also super fragile material. And it's kind of not attached. It really is just kind of sitting on her neck. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know how this stayed together in one piece without all the things falling apart. Uh, Deb says she has a green reindeer dream pet from her childhood. Oh, oh you have the reindeer. Now I'm jealous of you. That's a cute one. I know exactly which one that is. <laughs> and the fact that she still has it. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I get that this is on a surfboard, so hear me out. But I feel like you could put the red and the green together, and they could be holiday. Because she's got a green reindeer. Absolutely. Okay, so... I am not seeing any more bids, so we are going to count her down, and she is going to go to a new home. Mm -hmm. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. And thank you so much. And this is coming to your home. Deb thinks that's a good idea. Oh, makes you Yay, collection. but I think they're super cute. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Deb. Well, this is going great. 
I'm so appreciative of this opportunity to show some fun. I had so much fun finding these items and I found them at different times. Um, I love thrifting as we all do. That's kind of why we're all here, right? And it's so much fun. Isn't it the thrill of the hunt? And my biggest thing is I just don't want things going into the landfill. I want people to be able to have things that, you know, because different regions are different, aren't they? You know, there's things that I, we have here in the Midwest that we definitely don't see that people see in, on the West Coast or the East Coast. I should have that. Keep going. So this guy, he's a little sweetie. This is just going to be a flat price. It's little ceramic raccoon. Isn't he darling? Look at this guy. He's a cutie and he's going to be um, $5. And here's the bottom. And he's not a shaker. He's just a ceramic item. And he is two and a quarter inches. He is $5. And he is number 21. If you're interested in this little cute little mischievous little raccoon. Number 21 for $5. I think his name is Bandit. One of my cat's names is Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> and and the why I call him Bandit, my cat, is because yeah, he's got this the little the, the dark. He's a he's a tuxedo cat. He's black and white. I have two, they're brothers. And Bandit has Oh, a and thank you. We got Andrea. Aw, thanks, Andrea. Oh, that's great. Now, Andrea has a YouTube channel, everyone. <gasps> Ooh. So, go hit a girl up. Andrea has a YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep, she's my homegirl. Awesome. So, yes. So, anyways, check her out if you have a chance. Oh, Lee says, we have way cool stuff compared to what I can find. And that's why I am a reseller, because I want stuff to get out to people who don't get a chance to find stuff. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go into the landfill. Agreed. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, for me, honestly, I think I'm more passionate about the clothes, although I've left my Poshmark kind of on hold right now, mm -hmm. just because I can only focus on so many things. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm more passionate about the clothes, because... Mm -hmm. Um, because I am a larger woman, I'm already looking for the larger sizes. Right. And so I'm finding these bigger vintage pieces and I want to get them in someone's hands. Absolutely. You know, that's very true. So, okay. My next item is a bird alert. Bird alert. Bird alert. <laughs> Jess, this item is the, um, the parrot trays. That's right, folks. There are two of them. And look at that graphic. So cute. This is such like the like quintessential coloring that that green. Um, oh my gosh. I so when I found these, like I got so excited. And then on another shelf, I found the second one and I was like, there's two. Like oh, wow. I, was, I was really excited. Oh, I didn't think there was gonna be, you know, I just thought there was gonna be one, you know. So um, but yeah, these they do have wear. Um, there is wear on these, but I would say that the wear is very much consistent with what age is. Nothing, you know, huge. Like, I would say that's probably the biggest wear there. And, you know, little signs of wear on the back is probably the biggest wear that these have. And these are going to be $12, and they are number 12. So you can have... A pair, don't let her on the table. Um, you can have a pair of parrot trays if you give me number 12, and they are $12. And these, I realized I didn't give you a length. They are probably about 14 inches long by, by nine, 14 by nine. They would look great in a display. Great in display. Oh, thank you, Deb. 
Thank you so much. You are flying home to Deb. Honestly, Deb, you have bought a display right now, and I they should all go together. Everything looks really cute mm -hmm. together, like that she's gotten. That's awesome. <laughs> well, if you haven't noticed, you had to make an appearance. You know, because that's just what she does when Catherine, you know, pulls out the camera. Yeah, she, you know, Lily knows that she's the center of attention, and when she isn't, she has questions. Um, so, yeah. Lily, you silly girl. You silly girl, Lily. She's a little love. Nope, Mama said no. Yeah, no. It, there's too many breakables right now, Absolutely. Baby. I'm sorry. Go play with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, for those of you that are in the chat or who are watching, I need your help with this. Um, I found this item in... I thought, you know, we've all seen these metal trays. Um, we've all seen these. I have never seen one like this. And I need your help identifying some of the people. There's one person on here who I totally know who it is. And that's why I picked it up. And it's, of course, you know, Mr. Neil Diamond. So um, I just dig this so much. Um, for many reasons. Um, so here we go. I know, we know who this is, right? Yeah, Miss Miss Babs, Barbara Chardin. She's pretty awesome. Who is this? Who is this lady right here? Who's she? I can't tell who she's supposed to be. Of course, there's Neil. I just love the mid-century look to this and I've never seen one like this and Vegas is just so cool and it's the different uh casinos oh my gosh I don't know Blondie is that too late is she later than when this would have been made I don't know I really don't know let's see I just think this is super oh cool. someone says Joey Heatherton oh that could be Debbie Harry, someone says Debbie Harry, and that, that's Blondie. But I just, I just dig this so much. But I'm um, selling this, I'm starting it. This is an offer up. Um, I have this on a plate stand, and then you could put some other things around it, celebrating mid-century. Uh, so this is starting at $10. Just anyone's interested in taking this home and you can pass it around when friends are over playing games and uh, whoever guesses this right, you know. I just think it's so cool. Did you ever go to a Neil Diamond concert? No, nope. my mother took me to many Neil Diamond concerts. <laughs> I think I know every song by heart. Not that that's a bad thing. You know who's not on here? Liberace. No. Mm -mm. No, the Liberace and this guy. Oh, just so you know, so in the spreadsheet, you have that start at 8, and on here you have it start at 10. So, oh, just that so works. You know. Nope, it's nope. okay, Jess. That's my bad. Joey Heatherton. Mm hmm. Cool. So, if anyone's interested, starting it at 8. I just think it's a great case of Americana at Las Vegas of that time period. All right. Well, I am going to move on from this item and you can go on to your next item. All right. There you go. There we go. Thank you. It is Joey Heatherton. Thank you, Heather. Okay. That's cool. Let's see. What do I want to do? Oh, let's do this. Oi, I'm reaching. Okay. So, I'm not sure if we have mushroom lovers in here because there was, you know, there was a little, little love for the mushroom purse, but not so much. So, this is a mushroom recipe box. Super cute. It's in pretty dang good condition. The bottom is where you see wear. 
so you know somebody used it. The inside is nice and clean. Um, I would say the most wear on any of the graphics is probably the front lid and maybe a little bit on the top. You can tell they used it. I am also throwing in with this some What's Cooking recipe cards, a whole box. They're mm -hmm. not used. Those are awesome. Um, cute little recipe cards. And so you get the recipe cards and the recipe box for $12 if you give me number four. $12, number four, and that is the recipe box with the recipe cards. There is a kitty on the cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Jackie. Okay. Okay, y'all, this is the item that I wanted a proxy bid for because it's freaking adorable. <gasps> this one too? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is super cute. So this is really pretty. And I'm going to start this. It's a chocolate box. I'm going to start this at $6. Y'all, look how cute that is. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at her. She's a beauty. And what a great display piece. So it's a two piece. Here's the inside. It's very clean. And there's no writing on the back. And it says fine feathers, Johnston candies and chocolate. I'm starting at $6. It's eight inches tall. And if you can read this here, one pound made by Johnston. Candies and chocolates, Milwaukee, New York, Minneapolis. But yeah, I just look at her gown. I'm not surprised that someone saved this box for as long as they did, just mm -hmm. because how beautiful she is, the gown and the feathers and the color. Mm -hmm. So this is a great display piece. I absolutely love it. I love this box. I think it's so cute. Yeah. And I mean, the corners are a little due to age. You know, they're a little soft here in the corners. Yeah, I give them a little better view of that. Certainly. It's not bad at all. No. It doesn't take detract. In fact, I think it just looks perfect. Like I feel like this box just looks perfect and I love it. I think it's so cute. Mm -hmm. And it has the logo on the top and bottom. So you got the logos on both sides. Say you were to use it as a riser. Super cute. It is super cute, yeah. All right, well, no interest. You can move on to your next item. All right. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Poodle alert. Poodle alert. Poodle alert. Okay. And this is a scratch and dent poodle. Okay. So this is going to be a really good price on this poodle. Um, so here she is. Oh, mm. she is gorgeous. And y'all, she has crazing, but she has no actual breaks on her legs or anything. She has what looks like an under the glaze kind of crack running on her tail, but it is under the glaze. And I mean, she's just in fabulous condition, except 
this side of her mustache is gone. Her mustache. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. You just turn her this way. <laughs> so you guys, this is a fantastic, fantastic poodle with the Jimmy eyes. I mean, this is so 50s. Like, I can't even. It's the spaghetti. And because it is scratch and dent, it is only $10. $10 if you give me number 11 for the Jemmy Eye Pink Poodle. That's a great deal. That's a great deal. <laughs> and honestly, like I, this is from my personal collection as well. And I didn't, oh, thank you, my dear. I see you. I didn't even notice there was anything wrong with her um, until I thought about putting her up for sale. Um, and I was like, oh, she's missing part of her little side there. But, and she's going home to you, my dear. Thank you, Leah. Oh, you're going to love her. I, awesome. This is, I mean, honestly, you just don't find these really, really good ones that, that often. Like, you just don't. So, when I saw her, I had to snag her. Yes, yes, yes. All right, my next item is a single shaker, and it's got a creepiness factor, but a kitschy factor. Who remembers this guy? Yeah, this guy <laughs> right here. <laughs> so this is Howdy Doody, and he is a single shaker. Whatever you put in there comes out the top of his head. Or if you just want to display him, here's the bottom. There's no marking, so I don't know who he was made by. But this is number 18. If you're interested in him, he's 18 for $5. And it's a creepy, kitschy, howdy duty. Hi, y'all. I'm howdy doody. <laughs> so he kind of falls to me. I don't know about you, but kind of falls to me in the clown category. Whoop! Sorry, guys. Everything's fine. <laughs> so it's kind of clown-esque to me. So I think it's if you are into clowns or if you've got a clown. I'm not so into clowns or not. Oh, we see you, Jackie. Thank you. But if you like clown... Or if you like Howdy Doody, or if he stirs something in you, you're not sure what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Whoop. I was trying to put the orders together, but that's okay. Thank you. All right. Um, clown alert. That's right. Clown alert. So, clowns freak you out. Now's the time to look away. Get ready. Now's the time to look away. But don't. don't. It's really good. It's really good. Y'all, there you go. Oop, we just, did we just show the number? Yeah, we did. That's okay. Sorry, dear. So, here we go, y'all. If this isn't the kitschiest I'm going to call it. I think this might be the kitschiest thing in the wholesale. <gasps> uh-huh. I'm calling no. it. No. Y'all, this is black velvet painting of a creepy ass clown. <laughs> it is signed. It is signed. It is pink. <laughs> <laughs> it is in the groovy carved wood 70s frame. It's framed from when it originally was. This is my personal collection. So this guy is about 14 inches by 12 plus eight, by about 20, but it's about a 14 by 20. So kind of the size of like a concert poster. All right, y'all. So you can have nightmares of all your own for $18 if you give me number five. 
You can take the nightmares home. Ooh. <laughs> For $18. Number five. I don't know. The fact that it's in pink makes it nicer. I mean, makes it more uh, sweeter. I No, I love this piece so much. Yeah. I have just gotten to the point where I have to decide like what I collect. Ah, sure. I but this was this is my personal collection. So I see you, my dear. He's coming home to you. Yeah. I see you. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. I no seriously like this is like might be my favorite. Oh, there's a couple of favorites in the sale, but I love this guy because yes, he was up on my wall. So I think we should keep the clown theme going. Oh, clown alert. It's still coming, guys. Clown alert. Still happening. Okay. These are happy clowns. So if you're a little stressed out from the cute clown that that was. So these are also in our live preview. And I just dropped part of it. it it's okay. It's nothing that was broken, but I'm just going to grab it real quick. <laughs> okay, here we go. So these are going to start, this is an offer up, and they're going to start at $10. So these are on Nesco, and they're shelf sitters. They even have the stickers, which is really cool. Huh. camera business I'm still trying to yep it's it's a thing it's a real it's thing. a real thing let's see it's not focusing it's it probably won't okay and it's okay okay so here's this guy and he sits like this and it was made to have this fishing pool but it when I picked it up at the thrift store, it was already broken off, but they had it taped to him. Um, so whoever would like this, you can certainly grab this and maybe glue it back on. But there's this guy. And then his creepy, I mean, cute friends with the balloons. <laughs> he sits He's cute. cute. I really like him. He is cute. Get my fingers out of the way. <laughs> Jess is in the back giggling. She is. She's giggling at us. So, boing, boing. anyway, these are pretty cute. I mean, as far as clowns go, I yeah. don't think they're too much creep factor. But I'm going to start these at $10. So there's two of them. And they sit on a shelf. So, you know, they could go around your, you know, little curio cabinet with other clown memorabilia that you have. I don't know. Or you know what would be good too? A kid's room. Or on a cake. Inesco pieces on a cake. I like the cake idea. Yeah. They'd be cute because they're hanging off the edge, you know? Yeah. Kind of a little too big for a cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know what size cupcakes you eat. I eat the big ones. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, I've, I've been known to have a big cupcake or two. But, so, any, if you're not interested in the two cute clowns, we will move on. All right. All right. So, my next item, I actually, um, I need, Barbie, I need your help. Sure. Um, I think I'm going to do the set. Okay. But I need your help. So. Be right back. Yeah. Just bring me pieces at a time. Now, this set is going to start at $24, okay? And it is a full set, and it is a flat price, number 16. This is an adorable coffee pot. It has lots of crazing for its age, but there are no chips, no cracks, not even the part on the spout. Nothing has happened to this, which is like amazing. Like I always chip that top because it goes under. It is made in Japan. Now there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces to this set, okay? And I'm gonna show all of them. 
And this is number 16 and is $24. So you get four mugs. They all look the same. No chips, no cracks. They all have Japan on the bottom. Beautiful for fall, even though like strawberry is a summer motif. I really think about these as fall for fall display. And then it also has the creamer. Has the creamer. Japan on the bottom. No chips, no cracks, but there is crazing on all of these. I hope you can see that, that there's crazing on all pieces. And it has the sugar too. No chips, no cracks. Japan on the bottom. And it doesn't have a, um, it doesn't have a spoon. Um, and I don't see Jess in the chat, but this was number 16 and it is $24. And this is number 16 and that's $24. And that is for a seven piece set. Beautiful fall themed coffee set. You get four mugs, you get the coffee pot, and you get the creamer and sugar. Oof, my leg is, is really bad on this one. Um, but we are gonna move on on this one. I'm not seeing any takers. Here, let's, I'll just put these over here, we'll know. Okay. Cause yeah, I don't wanna put it back on the table unless they sold. All right. Ooh, I love this one. I love this one. Hi, guys. So I have asked Miss Catherine here. So I have a hat. I get to be the model. She does. And I love this because it's, it's a vintage hat, and it's full of rhinestones, and it's bedazzled. And this is a fez. We call this type of hat a fez. See? Oh my God, look at this hat. And I have a big head, y'all, just so you know. So I really do have a big head. Like, it's not going to sit super nice for me. No. <laughs> you would definitely need a small, a smaller size head to wear the hat. Um, I actually had it sitting uh, on a mannequin. Uh, in my home. Um, here's the inside. It's this beautiful Tiffany colored blue. And is that the size on the brand, the 22? It is the size, the 22. Okay. All right. Yes, but it is a vintage. Um, this is starting at $8. Um, so it's got this paisley fabric covering the hat. And I just love paisley. And then it's adorned with all of these wonderful bejeweled these love these it's different colored stones and so what i like about this is there's a couple of things you could do with this right you could wear this this in itself is a statement piece so this is worn you know with a little black dress or it's worn with a plain crisp white shirt and a pair of jeans um, but this makes the statement if you're gonna if you're going to wear something like this or it's just it's for display in any of your vintage things um, I've seen you know if you've got a set of um, if you've got um, a lady head head base and then you put this on a mannequin's head and then you've got your different vintage bottles and your vintage vanity set um, but I love it. But it also could be good for a costume of some kind because it's very, very 70s, very retro. I am very much a like display the vintage hats person. Mm. 
Um, I mean, even behind me, there's some just on display because I think they look so good. And this is one of them that I'm like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So um, it looks like we have someone who wants this for eight. Yeah. Caboodles. So I think we'll start that on the countdown. Nice to see you, my dear. I don't think I said hi to you before. Very, I like that. Yeah, I didn't, I haven't seen her before. Maybe she just didn't show up in the chat. Fresh Prince vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I see it. So the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, bid end. <laughs> Me too. I do that too, my dear. I, I actually tend to be like quiet in chats when I'm sitting and then I bid on something. People are like, when did you get here? And I'm like, I've been here the whole time. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Thank you so much. Me, Barry Kabudos. Thank you so much for taking that home. I'm so glad that someone's gonna be able to take advantage of that. And I would love to know what you're gonna do with that. So if you are on Instagram, if you uh, you know tag me or take a picture that would, and DM me, that would be awesome. Okay, so I am gonna do the mystery box now. Um, so warning for Jess. Um, the mystery box is going to start at 15, okay? So this is an offer up. And I'll have Jess put that in the chat now. Um, you know, I got a lot of feedback from my last sale that people were like, we want a mystery box. We want to see, you know, so um, I, I just kind of want to bring it with the mystery box. Like, I just want it to be, you know, like, I just want it to be really good, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I want to show people an example of one of the things that's going to be in the box. Okay. And this is considered one item in the box, even though it's separate. Okay. So it is three mm. owl trivets okay three owl trivets so you know this is in the mystery box but you're not going to know what else is in it the theme of the mystery box is owls and bird lovers mm. so there will be more items in the mystery box at least four more items and um yeah that's it i'm not gonna show y'all anything else but mr box tees but these are super cute you can kind of see the size of them that this big one is pretty big um he is six inches and that is the mystery box if there's no takers we're moving on awesome Well, I've got a little lady that would go well with Mr. Duty. Oh, yeah. So I've got this cutie. She's a little cowgirl. She's a single shaker. I'm going to start her off at $6. Isn't she adorable? I like her look. We need more cowgirls and representation of cowgirls. So she is starting at $6. $6, made in Japan. She has her stopper. Um, I think she can just stand alone. She's really cute. Yeah. Um, she does hang well with Mr. Duty, though, I got to tell you. But Oh, see you, Deb. I see you. I really like her. I think you can put her in so many different displays. Yeah, for sure. From Halloween to Americana. I mean, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cottage core. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she does. She has no chips or cracks. She's got a little bit of crazing. Um, don't want to get too close. She's got a little bit of crazing there on her chaps. But and I like that her chaps are kind of like the sunset with the different yellows. And her plaid shirt and her handkerchief. She's wearing the pants, y'all. I love her. <laughs> she is. So I'm going to start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
Good at cheeks. Three, two, one. Bid end. Bid end. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Poodle alert. Thank Here, you, Deb Sherbin. Here, I'll let you put that on. Oh, side. thank you so much. Poodle alert, because I have a little bit of a story for this. So this is um, going to be a amazing poodle purse item. I've gotten some inquiries on this since showing it, but y'all, I have a story with this, okay? So I'm going to let you see it. Ooh, the poodle purse. Okay, so we are starting this at 15. And this is a personal collection item of mine, okay? This came out of my collection. I paid way more than $15 for this. I do not know if the handle is Lucite. I do not know that, but I wouldn't be surprised looking at it, okay? So, so I, I went to this antique store and I saw this poodle purse, okay? And as you can see, there's the inside. It's got all the stuff. It's got the mirror and it's got that. So I see this poodle purse, right? And it is just the envy of me. And I see this purse and I'm like, oh my God, it's way out of my budget. I can't afford this poodle purse. So the uh, antique store has this purse for like $85. And it's just, I can't pay that for one item, even my personal collection. And so, um, you know, I go home, no purse. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to find that purse online. So um, I don't see Jess in the chat. Oh, yep, no, she put it, it started at 15. And so I went online looking for this purse and needless to say, I found the purse and I found it for not 85, I found it for about half. And I was super excited and I was like, oh my God, I love the purse, da da da. Y'all, have you ever ordered something online and like it came and it wasn't what you thought it was? <laughs> Well, the original poodle purse I had seen online was like a large purse you could use going out. Mm. This is not. <laughs> this is a really a display piece, as you can tell. Um, I mean, back in the day, this was a usable purse, but for me, it's not. Um, it is four inches by eight and a half inches. And I just laughed so hard when I opened the box. I didn't even think of checking the measurements. I had seen this purse in an antique store. So I knew what it was, right? It's like when you order a shampoo and then all of a sudden you get like a travel size. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> so I use this in my personal displays because it, I mean, it's killer. It is absolutely killer. And you know, being a purse, it can also, that's wood. It can also kind of be a riser, which is really good. The inside is spectacular. You could absolutely use this guy, but like for me, my phone is actually too big for this purse. It does go with the hat. I would agree. The colors would be perfect. Oh yes. But yes, I, I love this poodle purse. I. I've only seen one other one. And if there's no interest, we are moving on. I don't know. That's a pretty fantastic piece right there. All right. Yeah, you grab one because I think you've got a couple more. Oh, okay. So we are going to do a planter next. And this is going to be an offer up. This is a planter by Kay Finch. And it's going to start at $10. So this is a Kay Finch of California planter. It has the classic colors. Oh, oh, let's see. Um, that might be a leg. Um, Mayberry Caboodles, is that for the purse? The 15, is that for the purse? We're, we're just a little ahead. We're at a planter right now. So you might need to refresh. Um, so this little guy is a double planter. Honestly, you can only really put air plants in that. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't super drain well or anything. Or M&Ms. Yeah, or M&Ms. But it is signed 
K of California. And this starts at $10. And this is a pretty tall one. Um, this is 11 inches tall. It's fairly substantial and heavy. And I see Deb for 10. And we got you, May. We, we okay. see you. We see it. Thank you, Jess. We got you for the, for the purse. And if there isn't any other interest, I'm going to do a countdown. This guy is great. I mean, there is just crazing. Um, no chips, no cracks. Um, great condition. I, I mean, seriously, this is such a really substantial piece. I wish you could hold this. Mm -hmm. It's nice and heavy. It is nice and heavy. And it's such great colors. And look at that little face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I'm like making kid noises. Also, he's got a pretty cute booty. I was gonna say. Just saying. Mm -hmm. He he works out. <laughs> he's gotta carry those big ass planters. Okay, we're gonna count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dead end. Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Oh, that sounds so fun. Uh, no, Deb, this, or Jess. Um, yes, Jess, correct. Okay, got it. Got it. All right, I see it. Okay. So thank you so much. Diane, that sounds like a lot of fun. And I don't know about you, but like here, the weather is really nice today. So a soccer game sounds super fun. Mm -hmm. okay. Yay, puppy purse. Go yeah, home. I'll have you put that on that side and I'll do another one. Sounds good. Okay, so I am doing an item as a scratch and dent. Um, I decided that... Um, I actually decided to take the price down on what I'd originally put this at. Um, so you can see exactly what this is. This is a kitschy clock. Y'all, I love this so much. Um, it does have a little crack where the hanger is in the back there. So you'd probably have to use command strips to put this up. Um, although I do think it could hang from up here if you put two holes. I just hadn't seen this before, so I decided to pick it up. I plugged it in and it did work, okay? But I am not guaranteeing that this keeps time. I, it worked, but I can't, I just can't guarantee that it can keep time. And because of that, I'm selling it at a scratch and dent price because I don't want anyone getting this thinking they're getting a working clock and it doesn't. Um, but I plugged it in and it worked. So, um, and this is going to be number 13 and it's just $5. 13 and it is just $5. And that is for the kitschy kitchen clock. Um, this is uh, nine and a half inches. Y'all, it is so stinking cute. Also, if you just put this in a Barbie home, <laughs> Like, someone just, like, loved this because it's so cute. Like, oh, my goodness. Okay, so the kitschy clock, number 13, is $5. All right. We'll put that one aside. Do you want me to do another one or do you want me to do one? I'm going to do this guy right awesome. here. Let's do it. So... This is going to start at $12, and I love this. I love it, too. It's a cute one. It's embroidered, and it's a unicorn. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at this beautiful unicorn embroidered kitschy. Goodness, this is. So this is starting at 12 and it's absolutely beautiful. And 
there's no stains and it's a beautiful white stallion unicorn almost like you'd find at the rent rent fest <laughs> and it can come with the frame or without the frame buyer's choice and the, the frame itself is 15 12 by 15 and you know the frame it's okay it works for the situation at the moment um but this is kitsch tan, kitsch fantastic yeah kitsch fantastic yeah it's cute if it fits your kitsch antices it's very cute very cute so i'm gonna start her at 12. you'd like to take her and get her and hang her up she is yours i mean look at beautiful stallion the person did such a nice job you know, like, exactly, they, yeah. like they did a really good job with this, mm -hmm. you know. All right. Any takers for this lovely lady? If not, we will move on. All right. And then hand me in that one. Sure. sure. So we're going to stick with like the art because why not? So this is actually an upcycle. Um, let's see. Let's see, what is this on the spreadsheet? Um, so this is gonna start at $10, just so you know, and this is an upcycle, okay? So I took one of those 70s retro frames and it had like a horrible print in it. Like it was just, <laughs> it was really ugly. And I upcycled it with paper art. So this now has a three-dimensional piece of artwork in there. And y'all, this is super duper kitschy and fun. Super duper kitschy and fun. You made that. I did. That's I made that. Pretty amazing. Yeah. So this is an original. Um, we're starting her at $10. So this is extremely light. And I mean extremely light. Um, because all it is is paper and then one of these like plasticky frames from the 70s you know um and i love the colors and so you can see here's the back it's just it's one of those it's just one of those 70s frames where something is just cardboard is just in there mm -hmm. um but yeah these are these are handmade paper roses handmade leaves hi katie thanks katie appreciate you stopping by but yes, this piece um, is an upcycle that I made. That's incredible. You are an incredible artist. If you haven't seen any of Catherine's other videos on some of her creations, I encourage you to check that out. Yeah. So um, I'm not seeing any takers. Oh, yeah. You could totally hang jewelry on this frame. Absolutely. All right. And we will move on to the next one. Yeah, that's definitely uh, an amazing piece. Yeah. You did great. All, All right. right. Next item. All right. So I have, where's our friend Patrick? I have a set of coasters, and they're very, very vintage. I um, had a, and, um, what are those things? Auctions. And this came in an auction lot. So it was a nice surprise. So I don't know the history of them, um, but they're very old. Um, there are these metal coasters and there's a set of them and they're six dollars. I almost wonder if those are kids plates looking at them. No, oh, interesting. Like to because they say Jack be nimble. Maybe. Maybe they were for little kids when they played yeah. Like house and yeah. Or, yeah. But they can totally be used for coasters. But now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, no, those might be like a they they absolutely could those be are cute. Um I think they're super cute. I and didn't see these before. They're a set and they're they're six dollars and they are number twenty seven. These are cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. These would look so good in a display. Halloween display for sure. Cute. And it looks like um, the Jack B. Nimble, it looks like he's a transfer on there. 
Yeah, he's a he's, yep. a, he's a transfer design. Yep. I just love the patina and the colors. I know. These look so great. So these were a nice uh, surprise in that auction lot that I got with some other things. Super cute. So yeah. So these are $6, number 27. We see you, Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. All right. All right. What do you want to show us? Ooh. We should probably end with a bang. A, a wholeheartedly. Agree. So um, I have a really unique item here. This is kind of a little bit of a weirdo. Um, I don't know if I've <laughs> seen resellers selling anything like this, but we're just going to go for it. Um, so this is going to be scratch and dent, okay? So we are starting this at $12, okay? Starting at $12 as a scratch and dent because... Honestly, I've seen them online at all kinds of prices, <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but here's the cool thing, y'all. This actually works. This toy from the 1950s still works, which is amazing. Um, and of course, I'm like having issues getting it ready, but it's okay. Okay, and I do have the little piece to close it in there. I'm just not doing that because I'm going to take this out immediately. I don't want to leave the battery in it, you know, but this little toy. <laughs> yes, it does. And y'all, it has multiple settings of annoying, multiple settings of annoying. <laughs> about it. I don't understand. Now the reason I'm considering this scratch and dent. I'm so mean. Okay, I'm gonna turn down. The bird looks really lifelike. So it's like, oh. So the reason I'm calling him scratch and dent is you can see his tail feathers are gone. Poor tail feathers Which, are gone. You can see how he swings in this really a lot. I the tail feathers it makes instant sense to me that um they would be broken because it's going to run into oh, the cage. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's why I'm considering this scratch and dent. But the fact that this toy from the fifties still works. Or someone's cat got up in there and got a little bird. Oh, I could see that too. Yeah. Is like, it's just amazing to me. So, um, you know, buy this for yourself. Canary sonar. <laughs> <laughs> buy it for someone you hate. <laughs> Like a perfect present for a grandchild. Especially this setting. This is the person you don't like setting. <laughs> All the dog ears are up right now. <laughs> That's what Mayberry said. <laughs> but, I mean, so many levels. Um, and then let me give you a close-up. <laughs> Here's the buttons, all the different settings. I mean, just look at those buttons, y'all. Like how cheesy is it? And yeah, we're on intermittent right now. So like, I think it's gonna go off any minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I, I don't know if we even had any interest. I wasn't paying enough attention to the chat. Um, Great way to get guests to leave. Okay, I don't see any interest in this. Yeah, no, I mean, again, at a party with your friends. I mean, we're not having parties, but your Zoom parties, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to take the batteries off. So um, I will, if anyone is interested at some point, you will get a battery with it. Um, but I'm, you know, it's an old toy. You don't want to leave the battery in there just in case. So, um, ooh, oh, I see you. We have a taker. I see you. Great way to get guests to leave, Leah. <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> Barbie been here too long. Oh no. Oh no. I see you. I'm I'm gonna start the countdown because I've been showing this for a while. So what? All right. Yay. Oh, the chirping bird. <laughs> All right, we're selling it. Okay. Okay, so I have, um, 
We're gonna go out with a bang. Yeah, so do that one. Now I'm gonna. I don't. I don't have the thing on my bob. Just make it up. We got it in the spreadsheet. Oh, I'm gonna make it up. This is chopware, and it's this cute little couple. They're just hanging out together. I mean, and it's all whack. You know, it's raggedy. It's chipped. It's scratched. There's no dents. Um, but look at their little faces. And this is $5. And it's just a cute little piece of chalkware. And number 33. Number 33 for $5. I mean, you can hang it just with your other wonderful vintage items. It's about five inches. Doop, doop, doop. And her little pink skirt and her bloomers. She's like, thank you for the flowers. You're my best friend. So. <laughs> Book. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. Very cool. Okay, so we are going to go out in a, in a puppy bang, okay? We have our last two items, folks. And then what we'll do um, at the end is we'll just run through the items that haven't sold again, okay? So we'll do a lightning round at the end. But these are the last two items, and we're going to go out with a bang. So these were in the cover photo of this sale, and they are poodle plaques. These are chalkware poodle plaques. I I have only run into them once, and the only time I ran into them, I picked them up because I thought they were <laughs> amazing. These are 1969 Miller Studio. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to come out, but it. Oh, there we go. It's on the edge there. 1969 Miller Studio. And let's see. These are going to start at 18. These are gonna start at 18. Y'all, the condition on this is exceptional. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with these poodles and look how raised they are. I love the contrast of the white against the black. Mm -hmm. They are super raised. Mm -hmm. The back looks good too. They still have the hangers. At 18. The only real issue is here on the sides. But y'all, like that's just paint and it's the side. How great would these look like around a picture? Like you put them on the edge of like a framed picture. Oh my God. Like the picture goes from like great to like kitschy fabulous with these on the edge. We see you, Leah. Thank you so much, my dear. But honestly, these, these are exceptional. I, I cannot believe I found them. Just look how raised they are. Excellent condition. I don't think the person ever used them. And their dogs standing on their dang hind legs like a person. Like, what is happening? You know, it just, these are so kitschy, fabulous. They are the perfect colors. There is a pair. Like, they're just, I'm obsessed with them. These are amazing. So, um, I don't know if I'll ever find anything this good again like this. And we're gonna count it down. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bit end. And I agree, they're gonna go great with your pink poodle. You're, you're gonna have like a poodle station, a kitsch. Oh, and the clown, oh my God, like, you're, you're, this is a whole thing. This is a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm digging what, what's about to go on in her wall. All right. So keeping the poodle theme going for my last item. Are you ready? Y'all, I've never seen these before. These are so good. These are really good. Okay. So I'm going to start these at $12. Hold on, let me get a little bit closer. I can help too. I can help. Oh, look at these. They are shakers, salt and pepper. But honey, they're just a good display piece. 
Look at her little hat. Look at his little hat. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait for it. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> oh my God. They're tails. They're besties. You guys. Aww. And I like how her little mouth is open oh. and her eyelashes. She's so pretty. Little hat. So these shakers. They have their stoppers. Are starting at 12. And they're amazing. They're, they're very light. Very light. There are no chips. There are no cracks. Y'all, I've never seen these before. These are exceptional. I can't believe their tails in her walk. <laughs> it kind of makes me want to die from cuteness. It's giving me cuteness aggression, like where you just want to be like, oh, whoa, whoa. oh my God. <laughs> I've never heard that. I like that. Mm. Cuteness aggression. I, well, yeah, I, you know, like, no, I, I, no, I get okay. it. But I love it. I just love it. But yeah, when people say to babies, like, I just want to eat you. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I, I just, I love that it's a boy and a girl. Like that, it's just so great. So great. You're my best friend. Mm. Rip. <laughs> Rip. I, I am amazed the tails haven't been broken if like they actually interlock like that. I like, I mean, the huggers even get broken. And this is way more. Oh, here's the back of her. I, I think I maybe not, haven't shown the back, really. God, I love that her collar has polka dots. Like, I just can't get over it. She's so cute. Gosh. And we see you, Mayberry Caboodles, for 12. She, this kind of looks like a good girl, too. It, I mean, it does, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say boy because it's the hat. Because it's got a darker hat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's, like a, it's like a top hat. Sure. All right. So, mm -hmm. we're going to start the countdown. 10. Nine, eight, Burr. Burr. seven, six, Burr. five, Burr. four, Burr. three, two, Burr. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you everyone who like hung out in the chat and, and came to our sale. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody. Thank you so much. This was awesome. And so much fun and thank you again. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so we are going to do like a quick like run through of things that didn't sell. Okay. So Jess, this is going to be a fire round. There is grease hands using the shakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. You know, you think about these things and you're like, I don't even know how they survived. They wouldn't have survived my grandma's kitchen over Thanksgiving. I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. So, here you go. All right. So, we've got the box for display here. And it is number 20. Number 20 for $3. Number 20 for 3 dollars if anybody's interested in the chocolate box or display number 20 for three dollars okay okay next item thank you leah all right and this is number two. It is $8. Number two, and it is $8. Now, if you remember, this is a Caro Nan. Okay. And this is scratch and dent. So it does have a little bit here. And the inside isn't in the greatest shape, but it is okay. It also has some damage on the outside. But if you love mushrooms, this is your jam. Oh, thank you so much, my dear. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. No, that's great. If you sent your info, that's great. Let's do this one. Oh my goodness, yes. Our little glow mouse bank. From 
and he is number 28 for $12 and he does glow it's number 28 for $12 all right and then number six for eight dollars is the cutie QB with the little yellow dress and that is number six for eight dollars QB oh my goodness all right so we've got these UNESCO shelf sitting clowns and they're happy clowns not scary freaky clowns just kitschy clowns and these are number 22 ten dollars number 22 ten dollars this camera thing man it is hard it is is really hard it it is backwards and it's crazy it is. and then they're unesco sorry 22 for ten dollars all right and then this was a full set and it's number 16 for $24. This is a full set. So you get four cups, the sugar, the creamer, and the coffee pot. No chips, no cracks. Y'all, this is perfect for fall. Absolutely perfect for fall. I'm not going to bring up all the pieces because there's just so many of them. This is number 16 and it is $24. 16 and it's number $24. Oh, wait, I said that wrong. So, number 16 is <laughs> $24. And then that one? Sure. So um, thanks to everybody in the chat for helping with, with this and their comments. I appreciate that. If you have a Neil Diamond person in your life or a Barbara Streisand, this great Las Vegas metal tray, number 32, $10. Number 32, Ten dollars. Okay, and then we have the kitchen stove clock, and this is number thirteen for five dollars. And we are calling this scratch and dent number thirteen for five dollars. And then let's see. I think the last item is the mystery box. We didn't have any takers on the mystery box, and I heard from people that they wanted mystery boxes, but maybe not. Um, so $15, and this mystery box is going to be owl and bird lover themed, and this is all that you get to see that's in it. And this, I'm considering one item, and there's at least four items of equivalent in the box. And that is it. One last thing. Oh, do we have the unicorn picture? Oh, shoot, okay. She's got to ride, ride like the wind. This beautiful embroidered unicorn with rainbow colors. Hi, Beth. Perfect. Hey. And so that one is, is number 24. Number 24. For $12. And it can be sent either in the frame or out of the frame. I'm just happy to see you, my dear. Thank you for stopping by. Hi, Beth. I mean, this is like a, like, what? The hat. The hat sold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the hat sold. I'm not seeing what she's seeing. I'm not seeing what you're seeing, Jess. No, you're fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, couldn't do it without her. I just, huge round of applause for Jess for holding down our chat. Thank you, Jess. Um, Because I'm, I'm just not, like, good enough to... Uh, I'm not good enough to follow it all yet. It's I'm still learning. So yeah, huge shout out to Jess for helping us run this because we can't do it without her. Thank you for asking her to help. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah, so. So what number 33? Number 33 is Oh the little couple. Show the little couple. Oh, that's and awesome. The little couple is $5. This happy little friends. Couple, that's awesome. Little chalkware. Oh, see, it just warms my heart when, you know, I can find things and people want to, you know, 
All right, awesome. we see you. That's we awesome. see you. Thank you so much. This is great. Yeah, Beth, you can watch the replay. It, it's good. It's good. <laughs> there, there are some cute items left. So, but yeah, I just want to thank everybody for showing up. I know there's like it's summer. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other sales. First mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. um, and yes, I I don't do sales that often on my channel. Um, but I, and because of that, I'm also super appreciative of everybody that shows up because I know a lot of people, you have like this certain date and time mm -hmm. set up and I'm just not one of those channels. I don't do it regularly. So mm -hmm. I super appreciate that you penciled me in. So thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. And I appreciate everyone's support. So thank you very much. Hi, my dear. Hi, Felicia. Oh. Felicia has a great channel. She is super wonderful. Yes, definitely. Um, thank, thank you for stopping by. Um, you'll have to watch the replay, but thank you for stopping by. And yeah, and thanks everybody who was here and uh, for, for bidding and for just watching and hanging out with us in the chat. Um, this has been great. My very first sale. I yeah, enjoyed it so yay. much. And, and um, you know, something I want to continue and do and I appreciate the opportunity to get here on Catherine's channel. So thank you. And we know for sure that we're going to do another sale. Like we already know. Yes, yes. Um, we don't have an exact date picked out, but we, um, if you saw our postcard haul, we're going to do a postcard and ephemera sale. Mm. So we know that's coming up. Yeah. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Go enjoy some other sales um, and just take care. Stay creative, y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.